I want to talk a little bit about uh, RVs, picking an RV out. Um, I'm going to tell you what we found out. This is an MCI-8 uh, Greyhound bus that's been converted. The fellow that converted it did a pretty nice job, but there's a few little tweaks that we can do and that you can pay attention to next time if you're going to buy an RV. And so I want you to follow me and look at what I'm going to show you. Um, this is one of the forward compartments. We store tools. This is our water tank section. Here's some things you can do a little bit different. There's a water tank and another fresh water tank. Make those so they can slide out one at a time. If you get a leak or you got to clean them. Uh, in here, that's almost 200 gallons, 250 gallons. You can't have too much. In here we have a black water tank right here, or sewer, and gray water. Um, I wouldn't stack them like this. I would uh, make them vertical and so they can also be cleaned out. And uh, we have about 50 gallons of uh, sewer and um, I would go with uh, about um, 100 gallons because when that sewer is full, it's full and you can't do nothing about it. And also make some kind of a trap system because you're always getting gas in the vehicle. But um, uh, I would stand my gray water up and I would stand my black water up and I'd make my black water probably 100 gallons because like I say, if you got people on the bus, they got to use the toilet and you don't have anywhere to dump, um, you're going to have a problem. So at 50 gallons, uh, we don't find that that's enough. And so I'd make these two vertical, drain out of the bottom, you put your valving system in here, and we've got a little bit of dead space here. We could have used more uh, tank capacity, okay? And then in the rear of the bus, we have more storage. Um, and so you can see that come on around here this is a 75 it doesn't have a tag axle that lifts up okay we got our uh, propane in here for the uh, furnace. We have a 35,000 BTU furnace um, and we have it all gas plumbed in, black pipe. Uh, the thing that we have 20 gallon capacity of propane. The thing that I would do different is that um, we have one 35,000 BTU furnace. I would go with 215,000 or 220,000 in different parts of the bus because the back is always a little bit cold and the ducting which you can see back in here, um, in really cold weather, like 20 degrees, 30 degrees, uh, the warm air cools off so much that it's much better, I think, to have two furnaces. That's something we do a little different. This is our water pump section. We have two pumps. These are really nice. You can take them apart and clean them. Um, they're, low, they're low volume, which some people don't like. I particularly like it because it uh, saves economy and a lot of water. You don't use a lot of water because it just doesn't come out real fast. And um, uh, anyway, that's what it's set up to for. These are two tanks and our plumbing system, hot and cold water. And um, uh, make everything so you can take it out individual components. And this is a, a, a pressure. Uh, like capacitor, it holds pressure in the system so the pump doesn't have to run all the time and then when the pressure drops down too low it kicks the pump on again and we can switch between pumps that one of them plugs up and we don't have time to clean it so that's what I would do. I'd also have a filter system that I can take between the pumps and the tank for little bits of plastic or grid or whatever um, and once again I would have I would have my plumbing set up, I'd take my tanks out from the other side make everything quick disconnect uh, these tanks you can weld them with a uh, soldering iron and milk carton plastic or just a scrap of this plastic. It's really nice. But anyway, I'd make it so everything can come out. Um, over here we have four 16-inch uh, Trojan batteries uh, that go for our, our generation system. And Here you can see we got our furnace. Um, 
with the with the uh, vents. Now, what we have a trace three um, wave uh, inverter. They're the best on the market. They're hard to get new anymore, but they're the best on the market. We have breakers, 12 volt system, 24 volt system. We have a switching box. Um, we have a, a eight kilowatt um, Kubota diesel generator. Uh, it's all well designed. The electrical is really good. I would do one thing different. I would make that diesel generator and these batteries, I would make it all slide out. I would position it such that it all slides out of the vehicle on a trolley and you put down legs and you can work on it and slide it all back in. I think that's really um, high priority and so I try to work with that. We also have here a uh, hot water heater. That's great. Um, it's a fairly small one, which is a good idea. We had a we, we had a big fridge. We took it out. We put it in a smaller fridge, and uh, and uh, we use minimal electricity so we can go as long as we can without recharging. As you can see, this vent's coming from the furnace up in front, going through the back over the water tanks, and. Um, all the way to the back of the bus and it just doesn't transmit enough heat but you make a little hole here in the winter and you let uh, heat out on your um, water manifolds so your pipes don't freeze up here that part I like so this is our uh, 8 kilowatt Kubota diesel like I say it's great um, no problems with it but I would make it so that it could roll out that would be a sure thing that I would do Okay, uh, this is where our furnace is, and right now we've got some pans put here, but we're not using it. But the air intake is there. It's a 35,000 BTU uh, furnace, and uh, this pulls a lot of air. And so um, it runs a couple vents that way and a couple vents to the right. But we don't have doors in this because it just pulls too much air. It restricts it. You don't want to do that. Uh, but I would put one in front, 15 to 20,000 BTU, and one in back of the bus in the berthing area because uh, you, you just it doesn't get back there otherwise and I think it's a better design. Um, now what I'm saying is we put in a small refrigerator. There's uh, seven of us here, but we cope with this refrigerator. It could be maybe a little bit bigger, but uh, it doesn't pull much juice. So we're not always kicking on the generator um, to recharge the batteries. We can go two, three days sometimes without recharging and so uh, it's easier in the electrical system. We've got a TV, it's back and back while we're traveling because we don't have it secured set up here. And um, so we go minimal um, electrical draw, uh, minimal water usage, and maximum capacities on everything.